I'm Robert Burns with Gravograph. Today I'd like to show you how easy it is to use our M40 ABC. I'm going to go over laying out a plate, inputting text, saving a job, recalling a job, uh, setting the cutter, uh, just about everything it would take to uh, engrave a plate. Uh, and then that would translate into a, a legend plate or a badge or a medallion or, or whatever. They all basically work the same. But uh, the machine couldn't be more simple and I'm going to show you how simple it is. Okay, when you boot the machine up, this is the first screen that you see. All you do is just hit the ABC touchpad. First screen will come up, which is A. Here it wants to know the size plate that you want to engrave. So we're going to engrave a plate that even points to width. I'm going to tell it that I want a width of 8 inches. I'm using my keyboard to do this and I'm going to tell it that I want a height, I'm just swiping over it, and I'm going to tell it I want a height of uh, 2 inches. I'm going to make a 2 by 8 uh, desk plate. Okay, once you do that, hit enter, and hit the B for text, and I'm going to tell it that I want a character height of 3 quarters of an inch. Just highlight the uh, the, where it points to a letter, so that corresponds with letter height. Hit in that you want it to be 0.75, and I'm going to also tell it that I want the font style, this is where you pick your font, to be, um, oh, I'm going to pick uh, something a little fancier there, let's see, uh, let's have a, uh, not too fancy, because it is a uh, desk plate. I'm going to pick the, um, there's a three line Futura that I'm going to select. Once you select it, that's all you need to do. Your cursor is blinking. I'm going to hit the cap locks and tell it I want to say uh, Burns. I should be able to, to spell that. B -E -R -N -S. That's it. Shows you what it looks like. At this point in time, I could go back and edit it. I could by swiping over it. I could edit the height, the style font, add a second line, a third line, fourth line, whatever. Um, anything from here. It's just that when I hit uh, C to go to the next screen, that will be the engraved screen. Uh, I'm ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and hit C. Uh, from the C screen, I can set how fast I want it to engrave. I can set how deep I want it to try to go. I can set how much I want it to raise. I can set the orientation, whether I want it to be in the middle of the vise or the upper left hand corner. I can set whether or not I want the spindle motor to turn. Or I can set whether I want it to engrave in just about any direction you need it to engrave in. So I can set the orientation of the text. Uh, I can have a Z auto where it would come out, touch down, and prompt me to hit uh, a check once it's touched. I'm going to show you how to manually adjust it for plastic. I, I like doing it that way a little better, but the Z works just fine. And then when I'm ready, I just hit the start button to uh, send it over to the table. Okay, when you go to set the depth, your cutter is going to have a cutter head on it. So with the yellow handle screwdriver, actually it's a cutter head wrench, you would, would take the head off and I would put it in the spindle here. Now you want it to go through but not all the way through. Well actually I don't want it to go all the way through at all. I'm going to tighten my uh, set screw here with the black handle screwdriver before it goes all the way through so I have nothing sticking out. I'm going to put my piece of material under what I want to uh, up in the upper left hand corner because my orientation was set for the upper left hand corner and not the center of the vise. Uh, at this point in time, I would, uh, oh, the lock right here, but I'm going to uh, jog down over the material and I'm just going to touch, well, before I do that, I'm going to put my micrometer, micrometer on the bottom here on zero. There's a little indicator. I'm going to touch Z and I'm going to run it down until it barely touches. I want it uh, not to hit real hard, but just a just a firm 
uh, landing. Once that happens, I loosen with the black handle screwdriver the cutter itself, let it fall, tighten it up, and then I just hit check. Now whether I'm engraving one plate, two plates, ten plates, or ten thousand plates, my cutter is adjusted. Now I'm going to screw it, I'm going to turn it to the, uh, to the right, and it's, you'll see the increments, it goes 5, 10, 15, 20. Now depending upon what you're engraving, it depends on what depth you want to go. So this is a, has a pretty thin uh, uh, surface to it, so I'm going to set it on about oh, three thousandths and tighten my indicator, three thousandths of the cutters hanging out the bottom. The start button, it beeps, and then I hit the green button on the engraver itself. Uh, the beep lets me know that the job's arrived. Hit start, and I should be good to go. And a little vibration. Now it's making a little mess. A chip removal system would have been nice, but I'm using just the uh, regular depth nose that comes with it. Well, now that it's finished, all I have to do is just uh, remove it, and uh, there you go. Beautiful desk plate. Now, this is something I want to make all the time. It's uh, a, a school system or a customer of, of whatever. This is something that they use, or maybe we may use them around the office here. So, in order to save a job, it's pretty simple, too. Once, I, hey, once you decide that you want to save the job, all you have to do is go to the, back to the first screen, which is A, hit the um, little three and a half inch diskette, give your job a name, and then hit check. Then when you go to recall a job, just click on, and your jobs will be listed, and you can scroll down, and I'm going to tell that I want to recall Goof, that's what I'd call this job originally, and then hit the, uh, oh, it looks like a little printer of sorts, but you'd hit that and then hit check. Now it'll warn you that you're replacing a job and if you want to replace it without saving just hit check and it recalls the job. Here again, it couldn't, couldn't be easier. Well I hope you found this informative. If there's a more simple to use engraver on the market today, I, I haven't seen it. The M40, uh, for simple jobs, I won't say that it's, uh, it's suited for all the, the more complicated jobs, uh, but you could get the M40 with uh, an upgrade in software if need be later along. But for your desk plates and door signs and, oh heck, just uh, anything that's, uh, you know, fairly simple, uh, it couldn't be more simple to do. Till next time. Thank you for watching. For more information, please contact us today.